And uh, I am going to be recording this separate um, audio because I, I like to have a backup audio. Zoom sometimes is not the greatest quality for audio. So if you're ready in three, two, one. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sandy K Nutrition Health and Lifestyle Queen. Today, I have a special guest. His name is Mario Branovic, and I'm going to say it with my Croatian accent because Mario and I are both Croatian. So in an anglicized way, I guess you would say Branovic. So brain, I like that your name has brain in it. Very good, Mario. Uh, mm. Now, Mario is an entrepreneur, a researcher, and the CEO of Ana Lima, a company that enhances the properties and quality of drinking water by transforming it into a coherent liquid crystalline state. Now, today we are going to talk about structured water, coherent water, the research behind it, and how it can have a positive impact on our health. So with that, welcome, Mario. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Sandy, for having me. It's so amazing that there is a, a fellow Croatian somewhere in the world and <laughs> doing this amazing work. So I'm, I'm really super, super thrilled and happy to be here. Yes. Well, you know, I think that some people who are listening, they're going to go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're Canadian. So I will say, yes, I am Canadian, but I am very much Croatian as well. I grew up with mm -hmm. all, I used to do Croatian dancing lessons and singing lessons and I am fluent. So there you go. I will call myself Canadian Croatian. How's that? Brilliant. Brilliant, right? <laughs> okay. I have to ask how you began in this industry. Yeah, so actually, I was um, all of my life. I was very, very passionate about um, health and wellness. I always kind of knew intuitively that uh, our bodies were created in an amazing, perfect way. That there is this natural healing process that happens from within that can treat basically anything. So we are actually the biggest pharmacy there is. So there is not a uh, an element out there that can match uh, what our bodies can produce. And I was always very passionate about assisting that extraordinary process in a powerful way. As I mentioned, when you when you find a way, this is where I think that the medicine medicine, <clears throat> excuse me, of the future is going to be. When you find a way to trigger the release of certain biochemical from within the body, you're going to treat anything, any disease. This is interesting when they did a research on the placebo uh, 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 and they just gave people, uh, oh, this is the, the newest, the best painkiller there is and try it. And they just gave them Tic Tac. Mm. And the body actually synthesized a, a, a substance which is 40,000 times more powerful than heroin. Wow. That substance does not exist anywhere in nature, not even close. So our bodies are amazing. They're amazing in every way you can conceive. Now we're just trying to find ways how to trigger this self-healing mechanism. So our bodies are perfect. We just need to find a way to access the uh, operation system mm. and actually do anything with it. Yeah, I think that's the key. I think that these days we have so much interference, Mario, that that might be why it gets harder and harder, right? So we have to figure out how to tap in. And I say this all the time. And, you know, I, I get from some people, they're like, whoa, like some of the stuff you do is out there. And I'm like, well, you know what? It makes me feel good. And I tap into that wellness. Like I'm healthier now, Mario, than I was you know, 12, 13 years ago. And, and I agree with you 100%. I'm on, I'm the same like you are. I feel the best ever in my life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The best ever. So I believe that uh, uh, when people live in harmony with themselves in the deepest possible way, that the result of that is just a beautiful life. And this is what we need to kind of always remind ourselves. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with you. And really, it's it's 
it's like we, we have to do more than one thing. You know, a lot of times people will be like, okay, give me one supplement. That's just going to make me do this. And I'm like, well, you know, I could do that. But if you're not doing all of the basics, like prioritizing sleep, eating whole real foods, um, moving your body, like doing all of these things, well, then, you know, that one supplement ain't going to do it for you. I agree with you 100%. There are things which are fundamental to health. And if, if people would just do those, like I would I would say that maybe 85 to 90% of all diseases would just disappear off the face of the earth. Mm. So we do need to come back to the fundamentals. Yeah. And if we do that, we really, we are going to experience a quantum leap. I, I'm 100% sure of that. So what are some of your fundamentals? Mm, this is a very interesting question. Well, I'm going to be speaking about water. Yes, so of uh, this this one is is a uh, it's bigger than biggie, I would say. It's the most fundamental level of our existence. When you change that, entire biology follows. But we are going to enter into uh, yes. into the whole story. But uh, I would like to say that combination of moving, just like you mentioned, food, which is extraordinarily important to be organic whole food. But there are two things which are extraordinarily important, and at least uh, they were in my life. And this is breathing and meditation. When you combine breathing and meditation with all of this, then you can really unleash extraordinary things within your body and mind. Mm, I love that because I actually just posted about that today about how if we don't take the opportunity to get quiet using whatever modality helps us, um, we're never going to grow and we're never going to be able to optimize our wellness. It's always going to be about numbing, right? You see, I, I agree with you. I agree right? with you. You see so I agree many people you. numbing. And, and I mean, I don't know how old you are, but you know, I'm, I'm 54 midlife seems to be this turning point for many people where they might experience illness. They might experience trauma or you could experience trauma and illness before that. I'm just saying it seems to be commonplace around midlife. It's like, you got to make a decision at midlife. Are you going to numb? Are you going to mask or are you going to do everything you can to age better and optimize your wellness so that you can, you know, well, within our control, I also feel there's a lot we can't control, but there's so many things we can do to enrich our lives. I 100% agree. If people will just pay attention, just like you mentioned, to enter a, a space of quiet within yourself, then you're going to perceive exponentially more and from that place of perceiving, of seeing, we can do so much for our health and wellness, for basically any area of our health, just to get quiet, because then you can really perceive, okay, this is really good for me. Mm -hmm. And you actually act on it. Otherwise, Deepak Chopra mentioned this, and I love this. When you throw a pebble into a lake, there are going to be huge ripples. So you see the change. But if, if you're in the middle of a hurricane, you can actually throw an Empire State building there. And nobody will see any difference. Mm. Mm. That's very powerful, actually. So let's get into water. Mm. Because water, I, I've actually recorded about water mm. on another occasion. And I'm, I'm always about quality. And of course, quantity, but in the right ratios, because, you know, you see people walking around with those two liter jugs now, and all they're doing is just diluting their cells because they haven't got the minerals to support, right? Like, so water is very fascinating to me. Let's, let's get into that. Water is magical. People kind of consider, okay, water, just like um, an element, but nothing could be further from the truth. Uh, Great scientist, one of the biggest scientists uh, uh, of all times, uh, uh, Nikola Tesla, said, if you want to know the, the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Mm -hmm. 
And our research clearly proved that water is a broadband absorber, receiver, and transmitter of energy frequency and vibration. And therefore, it's at the very heart of everything. People, we, most people know that 70% of our body mass is water, which is really a lot when you look at it. But 99% but of all of our molecules are water. We are actually more water than the ocean. That off the bat tells you there is something extraordinarily important about water that we don't actually realize, that we haven't paid too much attention to. Mm. Our research clearly proved that when you change water, which is the most fundamental level of our existence, everything else changes. Our early research, actually, just to make a, a step back, to explain to people, uh, our research uh, proved that water currently exists in what we call a chaotic state. H2, H2 molecules, they uh, move randomly. They crash into each other constantly. But since all of this is happening on an atomic level, nobody's really aware of that. This chaos has a profound effect on our overall health and wellness, even though we're completely unaware of it. When we realize this, when we realize that water is a broadband absorber <laughs> and receiver of energy frequency and vibration, and it's always going to pick up, this is very important, water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine the water you're drinking where it was and with what it was surrounded that had very powerful impact on it, and then we drink it. So anyhow, when we realized this, our whole quest was to create the most positive, dominant frequency of water there is, because we knew that if we exposed any other water to it, all of the water would become exactly like that positive, dominant frequency. So we created what we call the mother water. Mm. And what we did, we, we put uh, a mother water inside a crystal vial. Why the crystal vial? First of all, of course, it needs to create the barrier between the other water and the mother water inside. But more importantly, it actually serves as a superconductor. So it allows the frequency of mother water to, to be transmitted to its surrounding without any loss. We actually tried with glass, but glass is not a superconductor. So the frequency is not allowed to flow as freely. That's why we use crystal glass. So anyhow, an alema is actually this crystal vial, which is filled with the mother water and a holder above. I have mine so, right here. Yes. So those so when of you, you take, are watching, you can see it. So when you take a glass of water and you put an alema inside and you start swirling, any H2O molecule that comes in a close proximity to the one, to the mother water, starts to mimic the exact structure of the mother water. So in reality, after just 30 seconds of swirling, you get a cup or a glass of mother water because water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. And when you drink that mother water, you're having phenomenal effects, long-term effects and short-term effects on your health and wellness. And we are actually going to jump in all of the yeah. studies. I want to and, ask and, you, though, I want to ask you, um, has it been tested that, so, you know, I have my Analima wand and mm -hmm. I actually, the first thing I drink in the morning is this coherent water, mm -hmm. as you call it, the mother water. First thing in the mm -hmm. morning. How do I know that this water has changed to the mother water? This is actually where it gets really interesting. Um, yeah. uh, since we are connected with basically every single scientist in the water science, and actually there is a water conference every single year and all of the scientists come together. And there are, there are really hours and hours of debate and everything. And since there is, uh, uh, there are very, and we did all of the tests, and there are tests which prove 
something we did the near infrared the ultraviolet visual spectroscopy many other methods which prove there is a change within uh -huh. but but we didn't want to stop there because okay it's different yes you did this and it actually changed but our whole thing was to not only to see first of all but uh, more definitely to prove that there is something biologically remarkable happening when people both people both plants and animals react extraordinary when exposed to uh, uh, to coherent water so that's why our whole research wasn't just in kind of okay it changed because a lot of there are some uh, i'm not going to say a lot but there are some companies that created some form of structured water and their whole thing is it changed we didn't want to stop there yeah. we wanted to actually definitively prove what is happening there what is happening on a cellular level uh, within plants, animals, and humans when you take this water. So this is a good opportunity to maybe jump on the first study. Yes. Since since I mentioned uh, that this water is electromagnetic phenomenon, we were kind of thinking, what's the most electromagnetic part of human biology? How we can test this? Our brain waves, And it's very measurable. So what we did, we did a gold standard study where we actually uh, 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 called in two genetically identical twins and we put QEEG equipment on, on them and we measured their brain waves. So the doctor administering the water didn't know which water was which. Twins didn't know which water was which. And they both actually took, uh, they drank some NLM water. And this is where it actually gets interesting because almost as soon as the twin, they took a sip of analemma water. There was an instant better connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain, an instant harmonizing effect on overall brainwave structure. While the other twin that drank regular water experienced nothing. No change. No change whatsoever. Yeah. This was a huge to kind of, it was really extraordinary to observe when you were kind of looking at the monitors and you see what's happening. And then three weeks later, we repeated the experiment because we wanted to see, okay, let's give the water, an alema water to the other twin to see what's going to happen. And lo and behold, we since these two individuals are genetically identical, we saw exactly the same phenomenon almost instant better connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain and harmonizing effect, a calming effect on uh, entire brainwave structure. While the first twin that drank regular water again experienced nothing. So this was a huge irrefutable uh, uh, evidence that something really biologically remarkable happens and very fast because it doesn't take time uh, uh, all of the other studies that we did, of course, uh, uh, took a, a bit of time, but this was instant. Almost as soon as you take a sip of this water, there is a change, very measurable change in biology of your brain waves. This was the first study which was really uh, 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 extraordinary and eye-opening for us. Uh, and we build uh, uh, on that study with various uh, various other studies. That's amazing. That is amazing. Yeah, so it was really kind of, it blew our mind uh, because, you know, we, we knew that it's going to be a change, but we didn't realize it would be that fast. And drastic, like so notable. Really, you, you just, right? it's, and especially when you, when you look at it uh, uh, almost in real time next to the other twin, which is genetically identical, and uh, 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 they took a uh, uh, regular water, no change. Yeah. So it was really, it was really, it was really powerful to observe. Okay. That is pretty mind blowing. So my drinking this first thing in the morning before drinking anything else is probably a really good thing, right? <laughs> Most definitely. So uh, um, this is only, as I mentioned, this is the fastest result uh, you're going to get. So this is something that happens immediately. All the other effects actually go and you can really kind of start experiencing in time. So okay. uh, 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 maybe we, we can jump on the second study, but I want to kind of make a, a couple of steps, steps back where we started, actually. Yeah. So we, we actually uh, uh, picked up a lab from uh, 
famous German uh, scientist, Dr. Fritz Albert Pop. He actually created this uh, a technology, which is so sophisticated that it can capture every single biophoton. So every living thing exudes this tiny, exude tiny particles of light, which are called biophotons. The more biophotons you have, the more vitality you have. So what we did early on, we, we uh, actually also, so we took the whole lab of uh, uh, Dr. Pop and his technology, and we actually had a, um, a large uh, greenhouse where we were growing plants. And very soon into the research, we realized when you change water, biophoton emissions of plants increase dramatically. This was kind of a huge thing for us because we saw it, 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 all of the uh, uh, human studies actually happened later. So we first experimented on plants, which is yeah. a really nice way to, to see how the biology or biological systems re respond. So anyhow, to cut the long story short, the tomatoes that were grown with NLM water, they exuded anywhere between 60 and 200% more light than regular tomatoes. So their vitality was off the charts. And what's also interesting is that we realized that it's progressive. When we, when we actually grew tomato and we took the seeds out and we planted it and replanted it three times, the plant became so vital and so resilient that you almost don't, didn't need to use any pesticides on it. Oh, wow. Which was really also, uh, 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 it, 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 it really kind of, the, 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 the life force of it grows even progressively. So uh, to make a connection with human studies, because we were thinking, okay, how, how can we measure in a scientifically accurate and valid way the vitality of human beings. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. Yes, but there is an extraordinary way. So uh, yeah. um, we realized that we can very accurately measure ATP. Adenosine okay. triphosphate, which is the primary energy currency of the cell, it's directly responsible for powering the majority of cellular processes within our body, including yes. muscle contraction, nerve impulse transmission, biochemical reactions, every heartbeat, every breath, every cognitive process depends on ATP. And that's very measurable. What we did, we employed luciferase, which is an enzyme that catalyzes light production uh, uh, at, with uh, um, bioluminescent organisms. And due to its extraordinary sensitivity, you can actually very accurately measure ATP levels in humans. So we did a double blind placebo controlled study where we measured what is going to change with ATP levels when people drink NLM water. So at the beginning, we took a snapshot, quote unquote, of ATP levels within participants in the study. They didn't, uh, they drank a liter and a half of NLM water per day for two months without changing anything else in the world. So they uh, didn't change their diets. They didn't change their exercise regime. Everything else stayed the same. The only parameter that changed in their life was a liter and a half of a lemon water per day. Then after two months, we took another test to see what happened. And we had 20% rise in overall mitochondrial energy of the body over the placebo. Wow. 20%. And when you calculate the placebo, that's 27%. That's almost one third of your entire energy rose just by drinking in a lemon water. And we're not talking about here of Red Bull energy. We're talking about actual cellular energy of your body. Over and that, how long, Miriam? How long? Sorry, two months. Two months? Two months. Two months. Wow, that's fascinating. And really is. And and I, I'm just going to go into details to, to, to explain the implications of that because there are really powerful implications. Yeah. So we're not just talking about uh, um, muscle contraction or athletic performance. And ATP is always connected. If you have high ATP levels, you are going to physically be able to do much more. But we are not just talking about that. All the scientists now agree that the key cause of cellular aging is actually the decline in mitochondrial function. 
And we clearly proved that the mitochondrial function increases beyond significantly just by drinking this water. And that has powerful implications. And the other thing, which is really also interesting, that people aren't aware. You know what's, which organ is the biggest spender of ATP in our body? What? Brain. Mm. For one neuron to send an impulse to a neighboring cell, it needs to hydrolyze 1 billion ATP molecules. And there are billions of neurons. 25% of all of our energy goes just to feeding our brain. And of course, high ATP levels are very well connected to a high cognitive performance. So right. this is another effect that drinking this water has. But it also connects to your first study with the twins and the brain, right? Of course, of course, of course. Very the, well, uh, well, it's actually much faster than the ATP because uh, you need to drink the water and then the water actually improves your mitochondrial function and then cells actually begin to produce more ATP. But uh, with the brain waves, it's instant. It's instant. That's why it's so uh, so amazing. Almost as uh, as you take a sip of this water, it will change your brain waves. That's why I mentioned this is the fastest, and all the other effects actually happen through time. Okay, let's get into some of the other effects. I'm going to be younger, right? <laughs> Most definitely, yes. <laughs> Of course, you know, Mario, listen, I'm 54. I'm going to do everything to feel. By the way, <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, thank you. Really, you look amazing. It I'm must be this Eastern I European would... blood, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. It's probably the way you live because really, you really look amazing. For 54, I would never say. Vala. I said thank you in Croatian, by the way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, aging. Yeah. Um, the other thing, uh, even though ATP study can approve it, but we did um, uh, a glycan age study. Oh, I know uh, glycan age. Yes. Ah, you, you do. Oh, I know who so, they are. Yes. I. I mean, I haven't recorded with them yet, but I have um, recorded with biological age. Come like True Diagnostic is another one. But yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. very well. I mean, what I love, what I love about their method. I mean, they're leaders in glycoscience, yeah. so they have. 120 published scientific works in the, the science of glycans. And since they're leaders in it, they've actually made the extraordinary connections between the state of your glycans and basically your overall health and overall aging process. What I love about uh, a glycan age is that they take all of these parameters uh, into account and they give you your biological age in contrast to your chronological age. So through the state of glycans, you can actually very accurately see what is the state of your immune system. That's number one. And more importantly, number two, is you have this pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory glycans. And uh, through the ratio of uh, those, you can very accurately, again, see what's the a level of inflammation in your body. And everybody now knows that uh, low-grade systemic inflammation is the key cause of all of the diseases that we actually yeah. contrive through time. So again, to cut the long story short, we did uh, uh, a study with glycan age. So in the beginning of the study, we did the first test to uh, establish what is the biological age of the participants in the study. Then they drank a liter and a half of water, an alema water per day for three months. We asked uh, glycan age, what is the fastest time that glycans can actually uh, visibly change. And they told us three months. So this is what we did. And after three months, again, uh, people in the study didn't change their exercise regime. They didn't change their diets. Everything else stayed the same. And after three months, we did another test. And almost every single person in the study experienced between one and 12 years of biological age regeneration, That's which really a powerful uh, effect, especially a long-term effect, because yeah. we are talking about through the state of glycans, you can really see what's going to happen down the line five, six, 10 years. And when you, if you can change the state of your glycans in a positive way within only three months, then we can deduct what actually happens over time. That's fascinating. I'm going to need to try that. I'm going to have to get in touch with them because I've actually done that. I did that a long time. Well, not that long. I think I did it a couple of years ago. Um, it was a mm -hmm. different test, but 
um, I think my immune age was 38, which is pretty good, right? I think yeah. I was 52, 52 at the time. Um, and there's nothing wrong with aging backwards. I'm all I agree with you 100%. Like we mentioned, like I mentioned in the beginning, I truly, truly, truly believe that there, there are these processes within our body when triggered. Mm. We can really, really, really revitalize our body from within. And water definitely plays a huge role there. I know. I, I have to say, Mario, I cringe. Okay, so we, we should get into um, whether this filters, doesn't filter, because like I cringe when I see people drinking tap water. Uh, and- I, I agree with you. Uh, um, but even I'm going to tell you one thing, uh, okay. just like I mentioned, water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. So okay. even when people people usually go for kind of filtered water, but yes. uh, even if you with filtration take out the toxin, and this is what filtration does, the information of that toxin, the frequency of that toxin is still in the water. Ooh. So it's definitely better to drink filtered water than uh, to drink tap water. So uh, that's a given. But I just want to uh, uh, emphasize where the issue is. Water remembers the mm. most dominant frequency of its environment, always. So whatever the dominant frequency is, that's the thing that is going to stay within water. And when you drink it, you actually introduce that frequency in your body. Oh. That's where an alema has the most powerful effect. It actually creates a clean slate. It puts the water in its most optimum state. Now I'm actually going to tell you something really interesting. Okay. Uh, the early study that we did really kind of really blew our minds. We actually did a study with seeds, which is this tiny piece of life, which is kind of, you would think that it has no intelligence, it has nothing. It's a tiny piece of life. So we watered uh, uh, seeds with regular water and with LM water, and we monitored the biophoton emissions to see what's going to happen there. So the the seeds that were watered with regular water, basically we didn't see nothing special. But now we're actually coming to the end of lemon water, which was really kind of super exciting and fascinating. We started seeing this sinusoidal shape of peaks and valleys of biophoton emission. It was like something profoundly changed when you watered the seed with the lemon water. At first, we didn't realize what it was. We actually connected to other scientists to kind of try to find what actually happened. And in a while, because it started to breathe in this long way somehow. And then we realized after a while that it followed the tides. So an alema water connected this tiny piece of life to the circadian rhythm of nature. So this tiny piece of life started to flow electromagnetically with its larger environment. Wow. It really was a wow for us because we, we after that, we kind of, uh, we were really, we started calling this water conscious water because it connects you. It's poetic to say to the universe, but that's the thing because we are talking about large, larger electromagnetic environment of planet Earth. Mm which was amazing uh, uh, to kind of observe. And it this was all very early on in our research where we realized, okay, there is something special with this water. These effects are in, in more than several ways. It really has an impact on the deepest level of our biology. That is fascinating. I mean, I do believe that the earth and our atmosphere as an energy and a vibration. So and we are either flowing with it, yeah, or we are separate from it. And this is what plagues this society. We are disconnected from ourselves, we're disconnected from each other, and we're disconnected from the planet which we are a part of. And this water connects you. Not only does it connect you within yourself, which we proved with the, all of the studies, with brainwaves, with everything, you enter into, into a state of coherence, but it actually connects you to your natural environment in a powerful way. You start moving with it. 
as a part of it and not as something which is separate. So would you say that Analema water is helpful in just grounding you? Most definitely. But the grounding is a good word because it connects you to the planet. It connects yeah. you to... That's why we always say that Mother Earth is the hidden voice of this project because it really has this deeper effect. And that's why we're getting thousands of letters from people all over the planet. When they started using an element of water, they have really kind of various effects on it. It, it, it uh, Also, people uh, have effects with meditation and everything because there is also this delta coherence thing that we, we observed when monitoring uh, uh, brain waves with, with twins. There is this connection that usually happens either with meditation or psychedelic experience. It's not as pronounced. But there is this connectedness that start happening within you, yeah. and also, which we proved with this, with your larger environment. What I find super fascinating is that you guys have been able to connect almost like the unexplainable or esoteric to the science. That, that was our whole thing. You know, we wanted... You know, all of the new sciences, all they actually start with blasphemies, kind of as a blasphemy. Whatever is revolutionary out there, which which we now consider as normal, sometime it started as kind of this is not possible. Yes. But but, but that's why we invest in hard or science exactly because of this. So it's not like a somebody said something. No, we are actually doing gold standard double blind placebo controlled studies and we are actually going to publish two of those studies now so that it's actually peer reviewed so that every single study that we're doing we are actually doing it by the book mm -hmm. independent three party tested so nobody can actually say no 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 it didn't happen yes yeah. it did and not only that it's very repeatable yeah so all the doubters don't really have a cause to doubt Right. That's the thing. That's why we're investing in it because yeah, uh, um, I understand. Yeah. Uh, so it's not uh, like okay, this water really does something amazing for you. This is how it does it. Yeah. And we're actually doing. Uh, uh, we're we we are not going to stop. We're continuously uh, uh, investing in research because when when something fundamental. As water within our biology we know that it can have gazillion directions and that's why we're doing all kinds of tests to see what is the effect in this particular area which actually brought us to, a, to another study which is also extraordinary is our microbiome oh interesting. All the yeah. yeah all the scientists now agree the last couple of decades this science really started growing <laughs> and there were connections between the state of our microbiome and basically any area of human health. So we're not talking about just digestive health. We're talking about immune health, cardiovascular health. We're talking about neurological health. We're talking about, this is also very interesting that I like to say when people aren't aware of this. Everybody's talking about serotonin and why serotonin is so important for mood, for how you perceive the world and everything. You know, uh, 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 that 95% of serotonin is being produced in our gut. Yes. By yeah. the bacteria in our gut. So our microbiome, if it's messed up, you're going to feel bad. You're going to feel lousy. You're going to suffer from anxiety, depression. If your serotonin levels are up, you're actually going to be vibrant. You're actually going to be happy. You're actually going to have a positive outlook on your life. So which is really interesting. Gut creates serotonin and it's being delivered to the brain through the gut brain axis. Mm -hmm. So the bacteria in your gut influence how you perceive yourself, how you perceive life. Your mood depends on it. Just wanted to give a small intro. Why is the state of microbiome so important? So uh, what we did, we did it again, double blind placebo controlled study where we measured what is called the dysbiosis index of the microbiome. 
So this biosis index measures the degree of deviation within the microbiome, taking into account all the bacterial phyla and species and their weighing factor. So what we did, we took a snapshot of people's microbiome, so to speak. Then again, they drank a liter and a half of NLM water per day without changing anything else in the world. And then after two months, we took another snapshot to see what's going to happen. And we saw 17% rise on overall dysbiosis index over the placebo. But more importantly, which is really extraordinary, positive bacteria went up. Oh, and negative that's important. Down. So there is this equilibrium effect, which has much more powerful effect on uh, our overall health and wellness. And now we're actually doing, we're going, we're doing a deep dive into the microbiome because scientists have now pinpointed the exact pathway by which every single species of bacteria has an effect on particular area of our health. So we are doing the complete DNA sequencing of the microbiome so that we know everything, every single species, how it behaves and in which ratio. That's amazing. This, we are doing double blind placebo control study and very soon we are going to have the results. So this is, we're doing the whole mapping of an entire microbiome. Wow. That is fascinating. So you're it, saying- it really, We're super excited to see uh, 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 what the results, uh, we already know that, that there is really positive change there, but it will be totally cool to know all of the details. It is because, I mean, everybody knows by now that gut health really dictates overall health. Overall health and overall vitality. health. Yeah. Like and if, vitality, exactly, exactly that. And, yeah. you know, the, the people, some people aren't aware, but 70% of our immune cells exist in the cell lining of our stomach. Yeah. <laughs> so it's all there. So if you don't have a healthy gut, nothing will be healthy. Exactly. There are gut, gut brain access, like you mentioned, gut skin access. So everything, whatever happens uh, within your gut, has a powerful, powerful effect on everything. And not only that, you know, it, it's really interesting. We like to think of ourselves as single species, uh, but we're <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. We're living in symbiosis with trillions of these microorganisms. And this equilibrium of this ecosystem is extraordinarily important. We talk about human genes, about the number of genes. There are up to 300 times more microbial genes than human genes in human body. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to geek, I, I'm really geeking out on it because- No, I like it. Yeah. No, I like it. Um, I think that it's important that we describe how water can affect every part of our wellness. Yes. And, you know, I, I say that about everything, everything, all of our inputs can have an effect on our wellness, but water is critically important. Yes. You know why I, I love this so much? Because, you know, whoever is in health and wellness, you're mindful about what you're doing, but this is almost an ultimate uh, 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 biohack because yeah. with, you have to drink water anyhow. And with this, you're actually covering a lot of ground. We talked about in the beginning various supplements and everything, but with this, you're actually just by drinking the water, you're covering a lot of a lot of ground uh, in terms of your overall health and wellness. Yeah, it, you know it's interesting too because, like I was saying about supplements, you know, you people people don't get it that even if your foundation, meaning one of the most important foundations, is just your nutrient balance. So if you're deficient in a lot of nutrients, then all of that's not going to work. But water is one of the foundations, just like nutrients exactly. are, right? Exactly. So exactly. Everything Absolutely. else is going to work better. If, if Yes, you... much, 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 much better. As, as I mentioned, water is the most fundamental level of our existence. When you change that, you dramatically improve basically anything else. I actually uh, 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 going to share with you now a very interesting study, which is not even in human health, but it actually tells the tells the story. We touched upon microbiome. So what we did, we actually took a completely destroyed piece of soil, destroyed by glyphosate with all the chemicals that large uh, agriculture company use. So it was completely barren. You couldn't grow anything on it. 
So what we did, we watered uh, one chunk of it with uh, regular water and one chunk of it with LLM water. And we did testing on it, deep testing to see what happened within the soil. So the chunk that was watered with regular water, again, nothing happened. Everything stayed the same. But the part that was watered with LLM water, there was a huge explosion in biodiversity of the microbiome, so much so that the bacteria in the soil started to suck CO2 out of the atmosphere into the soil where it belongs. But it didn't stop there. The whole nitrogen cycle improved and total nitrogen in soil increased. And within only two months, that barren, killed piece of soil became fertile again. Holy you could smokes. start growing food on it. And not only that, you mentioned nutrients. Usually, when the rain falls, the nutrients go out to the deeper layers of the soil from the top layer. But within Alema water, there is a huge retainment of those minerals in the top layer of the soil where the plant can actually use it. Wow. This was really kind of something which doesn't have a kind of direct connection to human health, but it tells the story of how important the effect of this water is on all life. And can you imagine the more elegant way to treat the CO, excess CO2 in the air? Everybody's talking about how we can lower the levels. Yeah. With this, just water the soil and the bacteria in the soil suck CO2 out of the atmosphere in the soil where it belongs. That's insane. Wow. But the so I know it's not directly related, but the, I immediately think of, you know, it would make sense for us to wash our produce with it, to bathe with Analema, to, to shower with, like, I'm just, because you have that capability, right? Exactly. And and this is, uh, thank you for mentioning this, because then we can touch upon the study that is really, really, really also extraordinary. Yeah. So we actually created a whole house Analema, something that you can install in the piping system of your house. And why is this? Why was this? So you, of course, you don't have to swirl anymore. And you open your faucet and you get coherent water immediately. But it's not about that. I mean, that's extraordinary in and of itself. But we were kind of thinking, since 99% of our molecules are water, what would happen if people would take baths in an yeah. water? And we actually connected to uh, Dr. Greg Lane, to uh, a Hydrate Spa, my dear friend, uh, David Perez. Uh, he has, the, they have this equipment where they can measure, Dr. Ring Lane can measure the vitals before and after. Uh, and they already have a, 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 a baths there that people can take. So it was a perfect combination to actually do a study on what happens to human biology when people just lay down in LM water. We knew that something special might happen because, you know, up to neck, you're actually within the uh, NLM water. So anyhow, we measured... Uh, um, a cardiac output, we measured uh, a stroke volume, blood viscosity, but much more importantly, heart rate variability. Mm. Because heart rate variability is actually a very, very accurate marker of your overall health and longevity. So every single person in the study, every single person, we're now doing 100 people study, every single person in the study experienced increase in cardiac output, in stroke volume, uh, 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 the, the, the uh, blood viscosity went down and the key element is heart rate variability. Every single person in the study experienced at the minimum 30% rise in heart rate variability. Amazing. Which was like, whoa, we're now actually doing, we're going to do studies with athletes to see the... Uh, um, athletic performance and everything, but this heart rate variability study is really, really something amazing. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. I, so we can get analyma water for the house. We can drink it. We talked about filtering it. I mean, you, you still don't want to drink toxic no, water, no, no, right? No, no, like no. Uh, this we isn't always a filter. suggest yeah. yeah, this is not a filter, but just so yeah. you know, very soon we'll be coming out with Brita-like system. We're going to be coming out with Berkey-like system, and oh, we're going yeah. to come up with a 
with the, for, with the flagship model that's going to have five stage filtration and it's going to make, make it coherent. So this is going to be the ultimate, by any standard, the ultimate water treatment system there is on this planet. Okay, so I have a wand. There is also yes. a whole home system. Yes, whole um, home system. Mm -hmm. Right. And let me ask you this. I, I, I always drink out of glass, but you know, there's people out there who still drink out of plastic. Will mm -hmm. it still work if you most definitely we <laughs> tested if uh, any liquid, any container, anything, if stainless if steel, liquid, it doesn't really matter. Okay. The key is that H2O molecules in drinking water, when you swirl the NLM through it, they will form this liquid crystalline structure. They will form this coherent state. So, of course, uh, if you're drinking out of plastic, there are going to be microplastic particles inside, which is the way it is, but you are going to drink coherent water mm. and it will have an effect on your biology. Okay. And then, you know, I guess, have you guys done any studies? I'm just curious because I have a dog mm -hmm. on for pets. Yes. Yes. You this have? is also, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's extraordinary. We're doing a, a big study now uh, uh we're actually this is really interesting this happened spontaneously uh, uh now more than several times but i'm just going to mention the last study that we did there okay. is a um, uh, uh, um, cow farm and they had huge issues with health of the animals you know i'm, I'm vegetarian so i'm not a kind of fan of growing animals for food but my whole thing is to increase the quality of life of animals wherever they are. But anyhow, farmers don't usually think about it. For farmers, it's just, okay, increased veterinary cost. Veterinary, the veterinarian has to come all the time. They have to give medication to the animal and everything. And even with their approach, they couldn't heal the stable of that particular stable of cows. The, the disease was constantly there. And then one of our founders, Dr. Eric Clark, which is actually the inventor of NLMA, he's a veterinarian. Uh, he had this holistic veterinary practice for the last 30 years or so. So uh, this, per this person came to him and said, please help. And Eric gave him water. Mm. Within only a couple of months, all of the diseases went out of the stable. There are no sick cows in the stable. We we had, so this is just the latest. We have a lot. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I guess you know, for my dog, she would benefit with her gut health. She would benefit everything. with like everything that we talked everything. about. Everything, Bi oh. uh, biological age. So everything. Every every. That's why I'm saying the water is the most fundamental level of our existence. When you change that, basically everything else changes. That's why we're kind of picking, okay, we're going to go, now we're actually all against, uh, we're going to do NAD study. We're going oh. to measure NAD levels. This is also something that's happening with this, uh, aside this microbiome study, where we're measuring, there is a great correlation between NAD and ATP. So, uh, and we already proved that ATP levels rise more than significantly uh, 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 just by drinking the water. So we are actually measuring the rise of NAD levels as well. That's fascinating. And we all know, again, what is NAD and the implications of that. And really, it's 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 key to aging better. Exactly, exactly. So, so this is also something that we're doing, and I'm super excited uh, about the study. Uh, it will be done very soon, actually, in a couple of months. So, uh, And we also intend to publish that study as well. So, yeah. So where does Dr. Emoto come into play in all of this? Because he was like, does this make sense to to link it to Dr. Emoto? Uh, definitely. Water. I mean, okay. he was the, one of the pioneers that actually put water on the map for many people. Many people yeah. didn't uh, realize. And, and his research, he's Japanese uh, 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 researcher, a, a doctor from Japan, that actually realized that when you take water, uh, he actually uh, uh, used this ex did many experiments with it, but many people know him for it, where he takes the municipal Tokyo water and he makes uh, a crystallizer or freeze the water, uh, um, 
takes a picture of it to see what if there are any crystals. And then he uses that same water and he expressed either positive emotion, thank you, I love you, all the beautiful, uh, 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 beautiful emotions to it from one end and he used that same water to express negative emotions. And he used the same process. He froze the water and he photographed the crystals. And I, if you're unfamiliar uh, people in your audience, you can go on internet and find the photos of those crystals. Yes. How extraordinary, how beautiful they look when you express thank you, when, when you express I love you. And of course, what happens to those same crystals when you express negative emotion? He was one of the first scientists that shed light on extraordinary mystery of water. It has, this is actually the, the definition of intelligence. If a being or however you're going to call it, responds to outside stimuli in an intelligent way, this is exactly it. Mm -hmm. When you send positive emotions, it creates this positive, beautiful crystals. If you express negative, there is something completely different. But you know which experiment that he did, I love. Which and one? he actually invited thousands of people and thousands of people did it all over the internet. He actually took rice and he boiled it. So the only difference between dry rice and boiled rice is the actual water that is inside. So he actually took uh, this, that same rice and uh, 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 take two cups of it. And every single day he came to one cup and again did the same thing. He expressed positive emotion to it. He expressed love. He expressed care. He expressed everything beautiful. Really, to the best of his ability, he sent all of the best emotions. And to the other one, which is the same rice out of the same pot, he, every single day he came to it and expressed negative emotions. And after one week, the cup of rice that had positive emotions expressed to it, had this beautiful fermented smell of rice, and you could eat that rice, even after a week. Ooh. And the other one had visual signs of decay. It was rotting terribly, and it had a bad smell to it. And this is somebody, something anybody can actually, this experiment anybody can do, to see the power that's why I mentioned water is always going to pick up the most dominant frequency of its environment. Mm. If you're impressing it with negative emotions, you are literally changing the biology of it. This is something that teaches us how to behave in the world. How do we show up? Mm. Am I being kind? My kindness actually has a profound effect on everything around me because everything around me contains water, any biological system. Mm -hmm. So when you treat somebody with love and kindness, you are literally making them healthy. You are literally creating these beautiful crystals within their body. And if you're treating them badly, you are changing their biology also in a negative way. So it actually makes you responsible when you become aware of this. You, you, you cannot treat anybody badly. I mean, you can, but you know the effect. Yeah. And, and that the whole water piece to this puzzle is just on a much more immense scale yeah. than we even realize that yes. it holds all of that vibration. It holds all, yeah. all of that energy. Everything. It's amazing. It's just like, you know, you could say, you know, we cook with water and you know how you'll have one person who hates cooking. They can't stand it. Whereas then you have somebody like me who likes to sing and dance in the kitchen and I love to cook. Well, my food right. always tastes really good. And maybe exactly. it's going to taste better than that person who was cooking and exactly. hating doing it. Right. But, but you know, what's interesting. I, this is what I love about kind of ancient spiritual traditions with ancient spiritual traditions. They all have this blessing before you take a meal. Yeah. And this is the reason when you take, when you do a prayer over your food or do a blessing over the food, you are literally energetically frequency wise changing that food. Yes. And when you eat it, 
you're actually impressing that frequency in your body. Isn't that amazing? And the medium is the water. Yeah. Water holds the frequency. Water takes that impression and stores it. That's why it's so important to bless everything that we're consuming, whether it's water, whether it's drink. I never drink, almost never drink anything if I'm not blessing it before or any food. Wow, that's amazing. This has just been such an amazing conversation. I can't believe we're almost at, we are at an hour. I want to make sure that there is nothing that you missed. So is there anything that you, we didn't talk about that you want to talk about? I think we covered uh, 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 basically all of it. I mean, uh, uh, this is an emerging thing. We're doing constantly new studies. So I just invite people to come to our website to jump on a newsletter because then you can actually follow the science because we're constantly doing new things and being constantly kind of our minds get blown. Where are we going and, and where this water can take us? I just would like to say uh, 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 one thing. Our whole mission statement, the mission of our company is to make all of the water on this planet coherent again. We developed this eco-friendly technology that we want to install at the biggest well wells of the biggest rivers because we know that the life downstream would change. And then all that water will end up in the ocean. And all of the oceans will become coherent. Oh. And then we're going to have coherent planet. Wouldn't that be extraordinary? Oh, it would. It would, but I, I think I think we're coming closer and closer to that, Mario. Yes, yes, I, I agree with you one hundred percent. I'm very hopeful. However, the world seems outside. I believe that that uh, we are actually just a step away from something amazing. I agree. I agree. Where can we find you, Mario? Uh, anybody can go to coherent-water.com. And if you want to purchase uh, an LMA, you can do it uh, there. Uh, if you want to jump on a newsletter and follow our science, you can do We're, as I mentioned, constantly doing new things. So if you want to follow our work, you can definitely do that. Yes. And I will have that in the show notes as well as a discount. And thank you, Mario, so much for this beautiful conversation. Thank you, Sandy. But the pleasure is all mine. It's such a pleasure to speak with you. It's such a I really appreciate your spirit. You can really see the when a person is alive and vibrant. And a live and vibrant person can perceive all that is good in the world. And this is what we need now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mario. Mm. Thank you. <laughs>